Hello and welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, medullary carcinoma or thyroid cancer uh, but before starting the topic I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now as I said uh, medullary carcinoma is more commonly known as thyroid cancer you know and uh, the thyroid gland produces the thyroid hormones which are important in normal regulation of the metabolism of the body you know and the thyroid cancer uh, is uh, three times more common in women than in men you know and there are four major types of thyroid cancers uh, papillary uh, follicular or medullary and uh, and plastic you know and uh, the cause of the thyroid cancer is unknown uh, but certain risk factors have been identified and uh, uh, include a family history of goiter or exposure to high levels of radiation and uh, certain uh, hereditary syndromes, you know. Now, the most common signs and the symptoms of uh, the thyroid cancer include like a lump or the thyroid nodule and uh, uh, that can be felt in the neck, uh, that trouble in swallowing and throat or neck pain, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, you know, cough and vocal changes, you know, or voice changes. So these are the common signs and symptoms of the uh, thyroid cancer, you know. Now, if a lump in the thyroid is found, uh, the only certain way to tell whether it is cancerous uh, is a needle or the surgical biopsy, you know. And biopsy means that uh, your doctor will take a piece from that uh, lump, you know, to test under the microscope that the, this growth is cancerous or it's non-cancerous, you know. Now, uh, there's a test, CEA blood test, you know, uh, physical examination and uh, x-rays, CT scan and PET scan are also uh, helpful, or the MRI, they are also helpful to diagnose uh, and determine the stage of the cancer, you know. And the surgery is the most common form of treatment for thyroid cancer, uh, which has not spread from uh, the thyroid to another part of the body, you know. And uh, the radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and the radioactive iodine treatments are also uh, the medical options for that, in addition to surgery, you know. But again, it depends on the uh, severity and the stage of the cancer, you know. So a team of doctors which include the surgeon and the thyroid, uh, uh, I mean, uh, endocrinologist and oncologist you know so they will and the team of those doctors will decide uh, the most suitable treatment option for a particular uh, patient you know and the survival rate and the prognosis for the thyroid cancer depends upon the few factors including like uh, individual's age uh, the size of the tumor and whether there is a uh, it's localized or it has spread to the um, other parts of the body or uh, it has come from other parts of the body you know and uh, it's not possible to prevent most cases of thyroid cancer. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Bye.